Moscow recently accused U.S. Ambassador Peter Hash, U.S. Ambassador in Bangladesh, for interfering in Bangladesh internal affairs. As you know, Ambassador Peter Hash very much engaged to restoring, the, uh, to holding a free, fair, and inclusive election with the political parties, civil societies, and the other stakeholders. And he expressed his security concern in Bangladesh as regime. He is fa he's facing violent rhetoric from the uh, Bangladesh regime people. So what is your response the, about the Russian acquisition and his safety and security in Bangladesh? And I have one follow-up. Of course you do. I mean, look, back in the Navy, we had a single two-syllable word to describe an allegation like that, which I will spare you from. I'll just tell you that it's absolutely false. And the Russians know it's false. This is just classic Russian propaganda. Uh, they know it's false. We want the same thing the Bangladeshi people want. That's free and fair elections. And that's what the ambassador was, uh, and his team was and will continue to work with uh, all sectors of Bangladeshi society, including civil society, including uh, engagement with uh, opposition uh, parties and individuals, as well as the sitting government, uh, to, uh, to work hard to make sure that the democratic aspirations of the Bangladeshi people are respected. That's what we're doing. India, China, and Russia, according to India Today reports, they are on the same side to back Bangladesh authoritarian prime minister. And Bangladesh regime is moving ahead another one-sided election, uh, crackdown on opposition and putting opposition in the jail. So are you stepping back from your position as you said that you will, st you will take all necessary steps to hold a free, fair, and credible election in Bangladesh? We believe in a free and fair election in Bangladesh, and we'll continue to make that case. Um, we don't take sides in foreign elections, uh, and that... that doesn't change with in Bangladesh's case either. We support a free and fair election. We're going to continue, as the ambassador and his team will, uh, uh, to do what we can to support that basic aspiration of the people of Bangladesh.